Hi everybody, we did a project on fuzzy logic, and I'm going to explain to you what that is. Fuzzy logic is a measure of what degree something is. So let's start with a question. You're either 25 years old or you're not, right? There is no in-between between being 25 or not being 25. It's binary, it's yes or no, and that's it. Fuzzy logic says that's not true at all. Fuzzy logic says that you can model to what degree you are 25 years old. So maybe you say a 10 year old is not at all a 25 year old, but a 24 year old might be very much a 25 year old. So now taking that into mathematics, what if we could model that? What if we could say here is the status of being 25 years old? And obviously here is 100% you are, you are definitely 25. So that's nothing to start there. And then maybe when you're 10 years old back here, you're not at all. And then again, when you're 40, you're not at all 25 years old. But in between here, you're more 25 years old than the 10 year old or the 40 year old. So we can model this with this function. And that is the core of fuzzy logic. Modeling to what extent do you belong to being 25 years old? The applications for this are endless. And the functions you use to model this are also endless. You start with a triangle because it's very simple, very easy to find the equations of these lines. But you can also model it with something like a trapezoid or any other shape or any other function that you wish to use. Okay, so fuzzy logic is great and all, but where are we actually going to use this in the real world? What's one of those endless applications that Alex talked about? Well, one that's currently used in the real world is in cruise control systems. So if you're not familiar with cruise control, then it's basically where you can push a button in your car and say, I want to stay at exactly 70 miles per hour if you're on a very, uh, like an interstate highway or somewhere where you don't need to stop and start a lot. So the way fuzzy logic handles this is that we create our little line here and we have a bunch of different areas on here. So our first value would be, say our target speed, which is 70 miles per hour. And so in this case, we're going to use a Gaussian function, which is just a fancy word for a very smooth curve because it fits a little better than a triangle in this case. So our 70 miles per hour is our target speed. And then we have some other ones. So maybe 75 is kind of too fast. So we have another membership function here. And then we have maybe 150 miles per hour, which is way too fast. And then we also have 65, which is kind of slow. And then we also have 45, which is way too slow. And so as you fit on this continuum here, there are multiple different ways you can interact with the gas and brake. For instance, if you're at 45 miles per hour or just way too slow, then you hit the gas a lot. If you're kind of slow, you hit the gas a little bit. And if you're 70 miles per hour, you don't have to do anything. You're doing good. If you're 75, you want to hit the brake a little bit. And if you're at 150 miles per hour, you want to slam on those brakes because you're going way too fast and you're going to get pulled over. As your car kind of, uh, let's say you're going 70 miles an hour, your car kind of starts to go up a hill. Then as it goes up the hill and as your car slows down, it should hit the, it should hit the gas harder and harder and harder. And then you go down the hill and now your car starts speeding up, you should hit the brake harder and harder and harder. So why is um, fuzzy logic used in cruise controls? Why not just having you know, finite um, values? Like if your car slows down um, you know, a mile an hour, then you hit the brake uh, one more Newton. Well, it's this continuous uh, spectrum. As your car slows down more and more and more, you hit the gas harder and harder and harder. If, you, if there were not this continuous spectrum, then as you were driving, you'd get jolted everywhere. You'd get jolted back when you accelerated, and you'd get jolted forward when you braked. And you might not, and you might actually have a harder time maintaining that specific speed because there's like units um, in between that you're trying, you're trying to use to modulate your speed. So that's how fuzzy logic is used in cruise controllers, and that's what fuzzy logic is. Thank you.